What a difference CPI made from the very start when you started shining a light and providing facts and figures on economic disparity here in San Diego. It was a perspective seldom heard then and still. The Center on Policy Initiatives. We document problems and solutions. Christy Hill with the Center on Policy Initiatives is analyzing the survey. You have people that are working year-round full-time but still find themselves in poverty and that's just unacceptable. Businesses that are thriving here should be doing well by the community and we're, and we're not seeing that. Working families throughout San Diego County were unable to keep up with the cost of living last year, says a new report by the Center on Policy Initiatives. Good news, people are working. The bad news, they're making less money. Población. Hay sueldos que son muy mal pagados. We're building capacity for change. CPI's summer internship program prepares future community organizers and leaders with training and on-the-ground experience. In its first year, the Community Budget Alliance got the city to create a citizen's guide to capital improvement budgeting, hold an evening budget hearing, and give community members a seat at the table for future budget development. CPI is a founding member of Engage San Diego, a regional network working in historically underrepresented communities to foster civic participation and policy victories. CPI is leading a polling project of the network to track opinions on a wide variety of issues. We make the case for change and get things done. 70% of folks who have the opportunity to vote on this City Council approved our ordinance creating a foreclosure registry so banks can be held accountable for blight. The mayor signed this ordinance into law. The average salary for a biotech worker in California starts at about $80,000 Janitors who clean the offices of some of San Diego's thriving biotech companies won affordable family health care. CPI keeps an eye on the city's managed competition efforts. Our mission? to reduce the risk of privatization. I'm Quinn Nguyen with the Center on Policy Initiatives. Um, I was here seven years ago um, for the passage of the Living Wage Ordinance, and I'm happy to see that um, it has succeeded in stopping the unfair and illegal behavior of a contractor, in this case, Mr. Kruger. CPI provided information and advocacy to ban future city contracts for a landscaping contractor who failed to pay workers the living wage. The city council debarred him with strict warnings to other contractors. Or, or lack thereof, um, but enforcement of the living wage ordinance is as necessary as um, and important as ever. Thank you for uh, the, the hard work done by the CPI and the Labor Council on living wage and uh, I hope that we can send a very strong message that this behavior will not be tolerated and that taxpayer dollars will not be given to people who break the law and exploit workers.